Welcome back to Stats Impacts for Monday, January 17th of 2022. All right. What we're doing now is if we get a one or a four, we're not going to pick two packs, but everything else, since it's smaller packs, we're going to go for two of them. Since we're doing something ran else random for Stats Impacts on Fridays. So, better go get me my dice, and I will roll the dice to see how many we generate. All right, we're going to press this once, and that'll be our first pack. So, all right, let's go. Seven. All right, we get another Allen and Ginter. We had Allen and Ginter last time, so we're going to pick one of those, and I'm going to do two more and see what we get. Okay, we're going to do another one because that's too many cards, so we're just going to roll the dice again because we don't want this thing to take forever. All and right, prone. we get a five and a seven. So I'll get the five out, you get the seven. And just grab one of the two packs out of there, and we will get ripping. No, I have to get the side. All right, here. I'm gonna grab one of these random numbers here. Now, just have to just put one of these. Tops Chrome. We're gonna do number six. All right, two, three, four, five. Now we're almost six. done with seven as well. Yep, we only have one more of the Allen and Ginter, so the number six right there of that one, and then no, we, we would have done number four. Tops Series 1 if we would have got that first, but since it's just a lot of cards and we don't want the video to take forever, but... Alright, let's do Alan and get her first, get that over with. Now I gotta see what I'm getting here. Gotta see what I'm getting. Alright. Maybe we'll get something really cool. Ooh. Victor, Victor Robles. Robles. Yeah. All right, he's been around since 2017 here. 315 at bats, 37 runs, 64 hits, two home runs, 19 RBIs, a stolen bases with a 203 average. Yeah, not a very good season, but who knows if he was only part time player this year or injured or whatever, but 203 is not very good. Christian Yelich. All right. He's been rookie 2013, I, I believe. 399 at bats, 70 runs, 70 runs, 99 hits, 9 home runs, 51 RBIs, 9 stolen bases with a 248 average. Yeah, 248 is way down from his 292 career average, so kind of a down year for him. Ooh, let's see, we got some cards falling. Let's stick that back up in there. Oh, no more Garcia Parra. There we go. All right, he is a retired player, so let's see what he has. 5,586 at bats, 927 runs, 1,747 hits, 229 home runs, 936 RPIs, 95 stolen bases with a good 313 average. Yeah, I always thought he was on the uh, road to becoming a Hall of Famer, but whether it was injuries or what else, he just... Didn't keep going, had a shortened career, but we'll put him in the background so we can kind of... He's an alright player back in his day. Tyler Stevenson, rookie card. And it's got the... Mm. Uh, whatever, different border. That's kind of cool. Tyler Stevenson, rookie card. Let's see how he was this year. All right. And he was playing for the Cincinnati Reds. 350 at bats, 56 runs, 100 hits, 10 home runs, 45 RBIs, no stolen bases with a 286 average. That's his career average. Um, yeah, shout out to, uh, a shout out, I think Grizzo Cards. He's a Cincinnati Reds fan, so we're going to stick that one out mm. here on the, the stand too, because it's a cool card. And we got a... Insert. Myriad... Murad of, you know who that is? Look on the back. Clayton Kershaw. Question I have for Clayton Kershaw is, if he was to retire today, would he be a Hall of Famer? 10 wins, 8 losses, 3.55 ERA, 22 games, 22 games started, 
121 points when he's pitched with 144 strikeouts. Yeah, he had a down year, kind yeah. of. He only has 185 career wins, so I don't know. Not high enough in my book to be, but if he can keep going and getting like 15 wins a season from now on, yeah, he could definitely get there. Miguel Sano. And what team does he have on there? Minnesota Twins. Okay. All right, Miguel Sano. 470 at bats, 68 runs, 105 hits, 30 home runs, 75 RBIs, two stolen bases with a 223 average. Yeah, 223 is not all that good, but you know, maybe he can have a better year. 238 career average, so maybe they're keeping him around because of his defense rather than his offense, because yeah. Now we're on to the Topps Chrome. We haven't opened this in a long time. 2021 Topps Chrome. I haven't really gotten anything super cool out of any of this stuff yet. Just kind of okay cards. George Springer. Okay. Oh, we got a... Alright, well... My phone went off that we were using, but we will get back to that. All right, George Springer. 299 at-bats, 59 runs, 79 hits, 22 home runs, 50 RBIs, 4 stolen bases with a 264 average. Yeah, 264 is not so bad. He got traded last year. Just and, yeah, he got traded to the he Blue really Jays last year, so... i got to shut my phone off for a second here, and... There you go. All right, we got the next one here. Garrett Cole. All right, Garrett Cole. How do you spell his name? G E R R. Oh, it's just one T. There you go. All right, yeah. George Springer had an okay season last year. Wow, this is one of the players that actually had lots of wins last year. 16 wins, 8 losses, 3.23 ERA, 30 games, 30 games started, 181.1 innings pitched with 243 strikeouts. Yeah, a great season. That was an awesome season. Purple Parallel David Dahl. David Dahl of the Rockies. Look on the back and see if that's a numbered car. 94 out of 299. Show that to the camera there. Mm -hmm. 94 out of 299, David Dahl. All right. And we will look at his... Now he's with the Texas Rangers, so not with the Rockies anymore. 205 at-bats, 19 runs, 43 hits, 4 home runs, 17 RBIs, 2 stolen bases with a 210 average. Yeah, his career is 272, so even though that... We'll just put him up there... Because it's a cool looking card. But yeah, not the greatest of players, but got a parallel in there. Jared Balsh, Gold Cup. Okay, that one's like a sepia card. So we got two different parallels in the same pack. 530 at bat, 70 runs, 147 hits, 29 home runs, 98 RBIs, two slump bases with a 277 average. Yeah, it's right around his career, just a little bit higher, but yeah, that's kind of a fun card too. Let us know what you thought of uh, the opening today and all the good stats. And sorry about the phone going off. Uh, anyways, tell us what your favorite card was and yeah. And let us know if you think that... Uh, Clayton Kershaw would be a Hall of Famer, but I don't know. The jury's out if he would be a Hall of Famer at this point. He's pitched really good, so if he stopped today, would he be? That's my question for the day, and we'll be back. On Wednesday with more opening day Wednesday. Have a great day.